Olsen Filipana. He is a Hall of Fame rugby legend, rugby league legend. He paved the way for um, a Pacific revolution, um, the Māori and Pacific Islanders that play today. Um, I think he was the first one to really show what that group of people could do and dominate in the NRL. Um, For those who need a bit of a refresher to figure out who this man was, take a look. Fed by a friend, gone with the feed. This is Filipina. Filipina out of one. Filipina's in the clear. Mark Murray now getting into Gary Jack. On a hefty tackle from that man again, Olsen Filipina. Last sight. Two paces. And there it comes. And it's there. Fine kick from Filipina. On to Olsen Filipina. He puts that he's out of one. Olsen two. He's got runners with Mark Graham. Mark Graham and most of to Olsen Filipina. And he's there. There's no five minutes at the moment, let me tell you. That was ridiculous. Absolutely no. It's also Philip Bader. He makes a break, Philip Bader. That's himself only two paces. Bang, there's the ball in the air. And he's got the points too. So the Kiwis lead Australia 6-0 at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And the author of The Big O, which is the um, the name of the autobiography, is Patrick Skeen. And he joins us now. Patrick, thank you so much for joining us here on Fox League Live. Firstly, can, can I begin by asking you how how this concept landed on your desk? I was writing for The Guardian Australia, um, a series called The Forgotten, the Forgotten Series, and it was on Australian uh, sports people that hadn't really been covered. And I did a story on Olsen and it went viral. And he was a, I was a big fan of Olsen growing up. My grandmother lived in Lilyfield, so I used to uh, head down to watch the Tigers. And I just wondered where he went. So I decided to check up and he was still doing his Garbo run, which was pretty amazing. He's one of Sydney's longest serving Garbos. And he um, just really resonates with people and he's a cult hero and over 250,000 people read this article. So I thought, why not write a book? So Olsen and I are 50-50 partners in the book and uh, it's been very warmly received and, and, and well reviewed. And it's just a story I think absolutely has to be told because we need to understand the origins of the pipeline, which has now provided 48% of the players in the NRL. Patrick, Nathan Highmush, mate. What, when you sat down with Olsen to write this book with him, what, what were some of the things that really jumped out to you that you were, were unaware of about him? His humility is simply unbelievable. And I remember he used to uh, draw a lot of players and pass the ball. And if they had a statistic for assists back in the day, Olsen would have been, um, he would have been the leader of assists. His humility um, is amazing. And just the fact that I, it was the first time I'd ever heard racism from the crowd when uh, I went out to Leichhardt and I heard some people get into him. So just the fact that he had to go through more uh, than other people to play the game he loved really stood out for me. And I thought, why not reward this guy with uh, having his story told?